thoughts on seeing posts like that? And like, what is that? What do you, what, you know, like, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? I know that's not the case. I mean, a lot of the things that have been taken up and chopped up and thrown online are things from a very long time ago when I didn't have a fraction of the influence I have now. I'm not apologizing. I'm not apologizing for them. I'm not even saying that, you know, that they were intrinsically wrong. I'm saying that when you produce as much content as I have, like six years of, of posting, and for the longest period of time, no one was watching it, you can go back in anyone's history of six years of posting, find three minutes and cut it up and chop it up and throw it on TikTok on repeat and make that person look bad. Anyone can do that, right? I agree with that. You could definitely make them look bad by clips and edits and highlights. I know what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. So that, that could happen to anybody. And, uh, and then if a hate mob gets behind it and tries to purport that that's your only worldview, if, if people don't think critically and they don't sit there and look and analyze for themselves and sit there and go, okay, well, clearly a lot of this cannot be true because this man is a free man. He has no criminal charges. He's never gone to jail. He travels around the world freely in and out of, you know, Western countries. He, he has nothing against him. Obviously these things aren't true, but some people don't think beyond the headline. They see the headline and they believe the headline instantly. Right. What's actually what's actually a bit inconvenient about the Instagram ban, the only thing that's inconvenient is, I'm going to send you a picture, Aiden, is that I launched an initiative to donate money to a charity aimed at protecting women against domestic violence. Have you seen this? Look, let me send it to you. Put the picture up. I've just sent it to you. So what was happening is I understood that some people who only viewed the headlines and didn't listen to me, because I've made, I've made countless videos of talking about how women need to be protected, how women need to be respected, how important are the women in my life, how much I respect my mother. I've done loads of things positive about women, but people who don't want to look into it and actually understand the real me, they would only view the headline and assume I was a bad person, right? So I decided, okay, well, let's counter that narrative because with great power comes great responsibility. So I put this post up. I don't know if you can put it on the screen. It's on there. It's on the stream. I had it actually up in the beginning. Um, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah. And I said that, look, a lot of people are confused because I'm trying to build men up and help men understand that they have a value too. Because I think in the world today, not many men feel valuable. I think a lot of men are very, very sad and depressed. And I'm trying to encourage the men to feel powerful and feel, feel valuable. They think I'm trying to drag women down and that's not I the think, case. And I said, I, I think, I think, and, and I'm speaking on the people that are trying to bring you down. I saw, okay, so I took that off for a second. I think what people are trying to, so when I saw that teacher post, I see Reddit post, it's, it's like, it's kind of like out of all, school just started and now people are saying a bunch of things like teachers are saying that they're over here and their students say these things. And, um, like when, when I'm, I'm going back to that topic, it's like, why, why are they? So do you feel as your content and not your content, what you would preach is you're, you're trying to build men up, which I'm all for it. I told you, I, I like that. Some parts of what you talk about. I love when you speak about building people up and building their confidence and Tell people to pursue and follow their dreams. I love that. But I think the issue is what people on the other side are saying is that it's coming off as misogynistic because why? It's coming off that way. I'm not saying you are misogynist. I'm saying it's coming off that way. Why? Well, that, that's interesting. I'll tell you why. And the reason is, is because they're very, very careful and they're very, very selective, right? So the reason I was talking about that charity post is because I put a post up saying I'm going to donate a month. I'm going to donate a dollar for every like to a charity which supports women against domestic violence and also a charity that helps men with mental health issues because there's no point in trying to support one against the other. We're all people. And I pledged, one, I pledged 1.2 million American dollars and wow. that didn't get single, that didn't get a single publication. They ignored it completely. And at the same time, they're saying I hate women when I'm the one who's given away $600,000 and that, that, that post yeah. was, was live and I was going to put the receipt up tomorrow morning. Holy so shit. It's, yeah, it's very, very selective what they're doing. And that's what's scary because I think a lot of the things that are out there that make me, me look like I'm talking about women in a bad way, they ignore all the times I talk about men in a bad way. I'm a person who believes in trying to create a reality where you speak with as many high value people as possible. That means high value men and high value women. I say to people all the time, if you're a man and your friends just play video games or smoke weed or they're committing crime or hanging on the block, you shouldn't hang around with those men because those men are a bad influence on Damn. you. And, and, and they'll ignore that. But if I say, if your girlfriend is going to be disloyal or disrespectful or not support you in your goals, then they'll sit and say that I'm talking bad things about women. But I talk bad things about men as well all the time. It's, not, it's nothing to do with gender. It's about trying to be a person who finds high value people. And what they've done is they've gone through the past, found all the little clips across six years of content, a total of three or four minutes, trying to make it look like I'm out there to hate on women. When I'm the one who's donating money to women, I'm the one trying to donate money to charity, 
trying to prove that I understand that my influence has an effect and that I need to be very, very careful with it. But it's truly a false, it's a truly false narrative. And like I said, I'm a religious man. I believe in God. and I know God will show the truth and the redemption arc will be glorious and everyone will soon understand. But truthfully, I, I am the person who sticks by what he says. I stand by what I say. And I, I, if I disagree with something, I'll disagree with something. And I've said a lot of comments, which are like tongue in cheek or joking or locker room talk. And I understand how that can be taken out of context. But all in all, to the idea that I hate women is, is truly, is, is, is so far from the truth. And anyone who knows me personally knows that. And I think a lot of people on the internet know that because since the banning, the outpouring of support has been monumental. It's been monumental. So a lot of people understand that, that I'm not a bad person in any regard. Andrew, would you ever do like, a, uh, like how you have like, um, I'm sorry, what, what's, your, what's, your, uh, what's your course called? Hustlers University. Would you ever do like a section dedicated to just strictly women or like, you know, like kind of like teach, um, you know, because like this is how I look at it, right? Without women, we have no life. You know, we all love our mothers. We all, you know, yeah. So we, you know, a lot of people that are starting to think that, you know, like I said, you're a misogynist, you're, you're putting women down and stuff. Would you ever think about considering about doing anything specifically dedicated to just women? Completely. I mean, the Hustlers University is open for everybody anyway. Women can join and they can participate. Some of our best students are females inside of there. Um, so it's not even gendered. In that regard, I gave charity to both men and women's charity because I believe in people as opposed to one gender above the other. But the people who dislike me are very, very desperate to grasp hold of fake narratives because they know if they have to tell the truth about me that they have nothing to attack me with. Right. So it doesn't matter. I could donate a million dollars a day to female charities for the next 30 days. I could I could give away 30 million dollars. There's still going to be someone on the Internet saying I'm a misogynist no matter what. Right. Of course, I can. I, I was I was effectively swatted when that when my house was raided by the Romanian authorities. Yeah, you were swatted too, right? I was swatted when my, too. Yeah, when my house was raided by the Romanian authorities, someone made a fake phone call and said that I had people here kidnapped, and I was swatted, and I was completely innocent, and I wasn't charged, and I was released within forty five minutes, and it was all over with. Same but thing. people, yeah, but people are going to sit there and still say he's under investigation. He's been, he's a human trafficker. He's a rapist because because they want to purport the false narrative. They don't want to tell the truth because they they tell the truth, then they realize, oh shit, we have nothing to attack Tate with. Oh, so let's just keep pushing this lie, which which doesn't really bother me. Uh, on any, I understand the internet. I understand that your haters are always going to find some reason to make up some hate, right? But this is why, like I said, I believe in God and I know the truth of my heart. And I also know the truth of the universe. And truthfully, the reason I've managed to get so far in life from such a low place, because I started at the very, very bottom, and now I'm the most Googled man on the planet with hundreds of millions of dollars. The reason my life's been so fantastic is because I understand that the universe has balance and I've always been a good person. And I haven't been out here robbing anybody. I haven't been out here stealing from anybody. I haven't hurt any grandmas. I haven't gone to jail. I've done none of these bad things. And, and the universe rewards. And anyone who's out there who's pushing a lie that they know to be a lie to get some clicks they're going to be punished in other ways in their life because i believe that god understands how the truth is important to the overall narrative of life right i don't think you can go through life lying on repeat and 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 god not take notice of that so i think everybody who who really understands the story understands what's happening here i very much understand what's happening here i have faith in due process and i have faith also in the instagram executives to understand the truth of what's happening and and I'm a happy guy, bro. It's it's just another day inside the matrix, just just doing what we got to do. It, it's it's no big deal. I mean, I I don't I don't know where I'm gonna post a receipt for the charity money is. I have nowhere to post it now. So imagine what kind of good positive press that could have been, showing that how I'm dedicating money to the to female charities, etc. Imagine how that would have affected the young boys in school. Like, there's so much positive I could give to the world, but if they just ban me everywhere, then I then I can't do it. So do you, do you want do you have the receipt with you? The receipt when the receipt no, it's tomorrow morning is when I ended because I said per like is a dollar. Gotcha, right? Gotcha. Tomorrow morning was the end and the receipt in the post, but they banned me just before. So I don't even know how many likes I had on it. Five fifty thousand, something like that. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's an interesting it, but it's an interesting time. But also, and I want to make this very, very clear. This is kind of like my worldview. My worldview is that I really truly enjoy the experience of life and the experience of life is not it can't always be a, a happy positive uphill experience you have to learn to sing in the rain to be a truly contented individual and that's who i am like if, if if someone crashes into my car i don't get angry i'm like ah 
a new episode, a new level to the game now. Like something new is happening, you know? So even if something bad happens to me, like if people are sitting here and they're gloating, thinking something bad happened to me, to me, it's all part of the beautiful tapestry. It's all part of the experience. I love all of it. It doesn't matter if I if I if I try and get it back. It doesn't matter if I never get it again. It doesn't matter if I, it, it doesn't. None of it matters to me, right? It's all just life that we're living out. I enjoy all of it, and I enjoy all of its its vectors. And it's always a learning process. So I don't I don't take any of this stuff personally. I don't take life personally, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? I don't take any of it personally. You don't. You don't. You don't. I, I, I can tell that about you. You have like a charisma around you that you know you give that off. You give that energy off for sure. As long as my body functions, I mean, personal like your 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 health is a different thing, right? But my 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 arms work. The people I love are alive. It's another beautiful day inside so of the Andrew, metaverse. Andrew, not- Andrew, your old content for six from six years ago. You talk about how you know you change your ways and whatever. So what made you have a change of heart, the way you talk and the way you it wasn't, no, it, was, it wasn't a change of ways. It's not about a change of ways. It's not about me saying that I don't believe the things I said were funny at the time. It's about me understanding that six, seven years ago, TikTok didn't exist. Instagram shorts didn't exist. Instagram, re- uh, sorry, what's it called? YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, right. all these short content things didn't exist. Eclipse. So six Yeah, so six years ago, if you made a video, the odds of it getting chopped up and then all context removed and then accelerated in this expansion to reach millions of people in a day was 0%. So you have to evolve along with the platforms and along with the culture, right? So what I'm saying is that now if I were to make a video, I'd sit and go, wait, maybe they can cut out that 10 seconds, put it on a reel and blow it and do something negative with it. You know, but back then you didn't have to worry about that because it was far less likely to happen. It just wasn't the way the internet was. Right. And I, I probably could have, go- I mean, I probably could have tried to go through the internet and delete a bunch of old stuff. That I- but the copies of this stuff existed everywhere. And it is what it is. It's not about me apologizing. It's not about me trying to say that the narrative's changed. It's about me understanding that the the platforms have changed and the platforms have a responsibility. And I that's why I understand completely why you know, there's people sitting around having conversations going, we as a platform, what responsibility do we have to our users? I get all of it. I'm not an illogical person. I'm not an emotional person. I don't right. get personally offended or upset by any of these things. Right. It's just the world works now. Okay. And I don't take it. Okay. It's just the way the world works. Okay. This is a two-part question, Andrew. The first, well, actually, let's, I'm just going to ask this part because I know you don't have much time. What do you feel like your purpose on earth is to do at this point? Like, not even at this point, in general, like, what is your purpose to do? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you have to fulfill? I think there's a, I know how, I know how desperate many men are. I truly believe, like we talk about Patty Pimblett just did a piece inside of the Octagon talking about male mental health. Tyson Fury's talked about male mental health. But these are professional fighters. I'm a professional fighter also. And I think professional fighters are closely linked to mental health struggle because it's such a difficult life and it can be derailed so quickly. Don't, don't, sorry to interrupt, but don't most like um, fighters and stuff. They get hit in the head a lot. Like they, they, they are like they get more like suicidal and depressed. Is that is that true? I don't know that's a word. It's not about getting hit in the head. It's about the lifestyles. About dedicating your all to everything, and then having a ten year career, and then losing one fight, and it just disappearing overnight. Gotcha. It's, it's just, it, and then and then afterwards, you're trying to find something that can replicate and replace the glory and the adrenaline, and you really can't. And if you don't have any financial means either. You can't just go from that Spartan life to a normal life. There's a disconnect and it's very difficult. And I think that's why a lot of people suffer from depression and fight sports. For sure. But, but I understand very well how sad and how miserable a lot of men are. And I think that a lot of people look up to me. A lot of people respect me. And yeah, I have every teenage boy's dream, right? I have every car and I have a nice big house and a beautiful girlfriend or two oh, or whatever. Are you have a girlfriend now? <laughs> Aiden. Sorry, sorry. Oh. I've, I've always been all right, but um, like I have a very, very beautiful life. I have what everyone wants, right? And and I inspire people. I became the most Google man on the planet. When I walk the streets, people scream. I think there's videos. I don't know if you've seen them. Yeah, I have, people, I have, I have, of course. Well, I, geez, yeah. talk, talk, talk. Everyone loves me, right? And and I really think that the role, the model I ro- roll out for young men is just to be confident, to be positive, to understand that they have a responsibility to... How many times have we talked on your stream about protecting women, protecting in the house... Uh, providing for women, all these things. But I understand sometimes if with a tongue in cheek or with a joke or with a small clip, someone can cut it up and pretend I'm something I'm not. Like I said, the internet's changed. The platforms have changed. The algorithms have changed. The world's changed, right? But I don't, I know I'm not a negative person. I truly live with a, with a genuinely pure heart. So I know I, that. Okay. So, so, so sorry to cut you off there, but I'm just curious. Cause I want to, I want to actually, I want to, you know, I want to know. 
So you believe that your role, your purpose on earth as of right now is to basically build up young men's confidence and basically, you know, give them what they, the information they need to. No, it's what I am is I'm a beacon of, I'm a beacon that shows every single young man out there on the world that they can have everything they've ever wanted. I, I came from nothing. I had never had, I know recently True Geordie, some guy said I came from daddy's money. He knows that's not true. I came from a council estate in Luton. I came, I'm poor and I've done everything myself. I managed to become strong and rich and smart, all these things by myself. And I'm a role model for men to sit and go, look, well, if Tate can have everything he wants, then maybe I can have what I want. Whether, whatever that is, you want to be a tennis player or a scientist or whatever. You know, and to bring some confidence back, because I think inside of men today, the biggest reason that they're struggling with mental health is because a lot of men, there's something that's hard to explain to, because I try and explain it to my girlfriend. I, I try to explain it to her and she doesn't understand. Inside of a man, you need to be proud of yourself. You need to have this like masculine, like it's like, it's almost like pride, but it's kind of like, it's like a life force, a masculine life force. It's kind of like the flex. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of like just turn up and just like flex a little bit. Like I'm me. Right. And that, that's the fun part about being a man. And all the men who can't do that are the most oppressed and the saddest ones on earth. Wow. And, like, and I try and inspire them saying, look, there's nothing wrong with having a personality. There's nothing wrong with being a little bit loud, a little bit brash. Obviously, I don't want anyone to take that out of context. But I know that I'm a positive force on the world. I get 5,000 emails a week. I get 5,000 emails a week. And I read nearly every one of them. How I've stopped people being depressed. Stop people committing suicide. Like every, every single week, people are like, I found your videos. I've never felt so happy. I understand myself better. I've never worked so hard in the gym, etc. So I know I'm a positive force, right? It's just a small minority group which have decided to, to purport lies and try and falsify information about me and, and, and in a personal attack. And to, to some degree, to some degree, it's kind of flattering. You Andrew, know? Andrew, I feel, of, like, I feel like in this world, it's better to be egotistical and confident than kind of like be that person that's like not, if that makes sense. Because you can't really like do anything if you don't think you're the shit. Like you're the what type of person that just doubts yourself all day and just sits around and just mopes and just basically like, oh, I, I'm not the shit. I'm not the best at the shit. Then you're not going to really accomplish anything. You kind of have to have that mindset where you can really just accomplish the world. I feel like. Oh, completely, completely. And it's, and, and this is the thing, right? Because when you're that kind of guy, when you're like a, 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 a fox, the rabbits are going to hate you, right? So the people who, yeah. when you act that way, when you have confidence and you also have a lot of tangible assets and you've achieved a bunch of amazing things in your life, there's going to be people who are deeply insecure, very unhappy with themselves. who are going to try their best to drag you down because misery loves company. When I see people who are desperately making endless videos on me day after day after day, to me, it's flattering, right? It shows misery loves company. It shows his position, which is below me, trying to drag me down. I don't watch any of them. I don't, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for negativity in my life. But that's always going to happen. If you shine bright, you're going to have haters. All, every rapper says it. You probably hear it. The better you do, the more haters you have. The more, so, the more eyes are on you. The more eyes yeah, are on you. Yeah, that's the name of the game, right? That's the name of the game. But all in all, I know I'm a positive force. So I've had long conversations about this with a lot of people. What kind of pants I know I'm wear? a very positive force. What pants? Yeah, what are those? They're reflective blue. Take them off for me real quick. Don't be weird. I'm Aiden. sorry. All right, all right, all right. Listen. Um, okay, listen. Andrew, out of all the men of the world, you got Elon Musk. You got um, Donald Trump. You got uh, uh, Jeff Bezos. Where do you rank yourself in the world for men? Like, what, what, what rank are you? Not even, Current, fi not even financially. I'm just saying, where do you rank yourself? Yeah. yeah. Currently, as it stands... I'm absolutely not really number one. You're number one. A hundred percent. And I'm telling you now that I can, I, I know I, the influence I have over the youth of the world is so something you, that so you, you know, you know, you have, you know, you have heavy influence. over. No, 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 I, no, no. I've only recently started to understand the influence I have. Over right. The youth. Right. And, and now I'm like, okay, now I understand the, the influence I have over the youth. Now I understand that the, the content creation methods have changed. Now that I understand the platforms have changed. Now I understand there's people who are going to try and weaponize the words I say and try and take them out of context on purpose. Now I understand all these things and this has all come, this has all come to light as of recent, but yeah, it's certainly not really me. If I go, if I go to on the internet and say, 
blueberries are great. We're going to sell more blueberries than ever before, right? If I go on the internet and say, give your mom a hug, they're going to give their mother a hug. That's the game. So yeah, I'm the most, I'm the most important guy on the okay, internet. So you, stands, so I'm the most so important you, guy on the internet. Fine, but you understand that now, right? So when they see a clip and it's some shit about like, I forgot what you said, something about like, grab the bitch by her throat and choke it or strangle it, right? So when they see that, do you understand now like why like, it's like- so oh, I've always done I've always, Aiden, since the beginning of this stream, I've been telling you I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I know. You, no, you just said, you just said you, lately you, you, you've been understanding how much of an influence you have, like how much actual. But you, also, you also have to remember that video was made four or five years exactly, ago. Exactly, but it's resurfacing. I know how that, yes, of course, of course. I've had, trust me, I've had many clips in the past that like resurface, like what the fuck. Um, but I see stuff all the time. And also, and also all context is removed. Yeah. The fact, and the fact that I'm joking is clear. And, and this is the internet now, and it's kind of, it's a strange place, and you have to adapt, and that's how it is. So I understand why platforms have certain responsibilities. I understand all of this. I'm working with the right people, and I believe that God has a plan, and I'm a, I'm a religious man, and it is what it is. I'm really not emotional about it. I'm not even thinking about it too tough. It is what it is. This is the world. This is the life experience I'm going to have. This is what the journey has for me. And I'll, be, I'll tell you another thing that's actually kind of, I'll, I'll tell you another thing. I'm kind of relieved. Why are you relieved? Because the real world is such a beautiful place, you know, the less, the less things on my phone, I'm trying to reduce my phone apps. I've got like four apps left or five apps left. I'm just trying to delete everything. Right. And, and it's just one less thing I have to look at. Right. It, it's like, I, I just get in my supercar and go for a drive. Like, it's fine. I don't, I don't, it doesn't, it really doesn't bother me. However, while we're talking about apps, I want to change subject quickly. There's an app you need to download. There's a game you need to play on your stream. What is it? I thought you're good at games, right? Yes. What is the game? <laughs> Aiden thinks he's good at games. I'm not playing no fucking uh, Hustler University, like Mortal, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing any of those games. You know what I mean? Because they're going to, you know, but what, what's the game called? Hustlers University is not a game, first. I'm just saying, like, if Hustlers University made a game, you're like, hey, now you play the game. I'm not playing it, bro. I'm going to be honest. But what's the game called? What game? Top G. See, like, bro, like, what, what do you mean? What's the app? It's, 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 it's an app. On, it's called, what, what do you mean? Go to the app store and download the Top G game, and you get to be me. I thought you were good at games. Go see if you can be the Top G. Right now, I'm not playing. Go get it right now. Really, bro? Like, are you serious bro. right now? Go to the app store. Top G game here. The top G game. That's not low. Here it is. Top G game. Pow. Mr. Bugatti. Click start. Download it. So and you're always to play on the stream. Just be honest. Did you, did you do this? Did you get on the stream? I actually, to be totally honest. I actually completely and utterly didn't. Someone sent it to me saying, hey, look, there's a game about you. And I downloaded it and it's pretty good. Oh, it's like that, it's actually, wait, it's, you don't own it. No, it's nothing to do with me. I just found it. So you don't make any money off it. Zero. All right. Well, uh, in that case, I played the game. I play. I already. I already. I already played the top two game on the App Store, and it's completely dog shit. Nobody downloaded it. Why are you lying? You never played that game. <laughs> what? What happens? You get in the Bugatti and you fucking smack uh, some girls wrong. around and shit. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong. Hey, listen. Download the game and play it. Maybe I'll play it later. I don't know. Listen, I want to. I want to actually ask you uh, another good question. So, you know. What's next for you? Like, what, what what are you what are you planning on doing next? Like, what's another goal? I mean, you kind of conquered the fucking social media world. So yeah, I can't pause, pause right now. You know, not really, but kind of. But like, what's next for you? Like, what do you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've conquered the entire internet. That's 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 done. I can still continue to do that if I so choose. Like, I can continue to conquer the internet. Like, losing Instagram doesn't change anything for me. If I so chose, but I, I was always saying to everybody from the beginning that this is a three stage plan. And, and there was, there was conversations about the fact that I might have to martyr myself to get to certain, uh, certain stages in the plan. Yeah. It's no big deal, yeah. but my, my life's pretty much complete, bro. And I'm a lot older than you. There's not much so for me on, to do. So on, Andrew, Andrew, do you feel like you've beaten the game? Oh, uh, no, I've certainly, I've hacked the matrix and completely beaten the game. So I you're, have everything you're done. I've, I have everything I've ever wanted. So yeah, I've completely just beaten the game. I've everything I've ever wanted, and now the only thing left for me to do is just make lots and lots of beautiful children, and have a, and and raise Ooh. them to have the, to have the same ideals I have. That's what's left for me. I mean, you're a bit younger than me, but at my age, you just have a bunch of children, you teach them the things you know, and you create a future generation. So there's future Andrew Tate. That's all there is for me to do. I don't need any more cars. Two questions: Would you first of all would you adopt me? 
I don't know if you'd want to be my son, Aiden. Why? What is the son? Why? Because it'd be a hard life for you. Why? Because you're lazy and I wouldn't accept it. Fine. Okay. I, um, when, you, when you get married, can I come to the wedding? Mm, I want you there. Really, bro? Are you you're hesitating? What the fuck? I don't know. Are you going to do anything like good in any way? Or are you just going to be like an annoying? Yes, like, I'll give you a nice speech. What will you say at my wedding? Let's try the speech. Let's go. I'd raise a glass of sparkling water. Pretend this is sparkling water. Nice. Start. I like that. And I would just say, hey, man, this bald guy over here, he uh, changed my life. And uh, you're in good hands, whoever the girl is. And then I'd go, cheers. You can do better than that. Well, I have to really think about some shit. But that was just off the brain, you know, off the dome. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I'll let you come to my wedding. The fuck? But I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about you, but there's nothing for me to do but have a bunch of children. That's all I have to do, and then drive my cars around. That's there's life. There ain't really much you think, to do. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do you believe life is hard? If you if you're coming from nothing, how you came up? Do you think do you believe life is hard? Yes, but so I how, believe. How, it, how, how do you raise your children when you have everything? Like what I'm saying is this, right? I've seen good. Um, no dick suck shit. I already know the chat's gonna be like, "I'm a dick sucker," but obviously, um, you got you know, I'm friends with uh, Brownie, um, who's LeBron's. Son, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, I love Brian. It's like really one of the most genuine people I've ever met. And he's very humble. And he was raised n like a non-brat, okay? He was raised a really, really good person, a really genuine person. So obviously he was raised correctly. How does, how are you going to raise your children? Like, how, you know? Yeah, you have to keep them away from the money. That's the first thing that's important. Because I was raised very poor. But now I have a lot of money, so I have to make sure my children are raised and they still feel poor. Because it teaches you gratitude, it teaches you work ethic, and it teaches you the realities of the world. So that's the first thing that has to happen, and there's lots of ways that could happen. Um, but I know I know that, I mean, raising children, I don't think it's really that tip. I know this, everyone's going to go nuts. It's not as difficult as people pretend it is. I'm a good, I'm a good role model for my children, so they'll want to replicate me and want to imitate me. So by that, I just need to keep them alive and 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 make sure that they're they're okay. I'm not going to spoil them in any regard. I don't believe that them having money is a good thing. I think having money is a bad thing as a child. I don't want them to grow up to be you know like a lazy gamer who just sits on Twitch all day. I'd hate that. Oh really? You would? Yeah that that would be that would really offend me if my child was just some lazy gamer. Well, drinking, well, a lot, sitting around Miami. Fair Doing enough, nothing. fair enough. And if, you know, if I ever have some children, I wouldn't want them to be a bald, uh, you know, uh, fucking, uh, I'm not, I'm going to be going. Keep going, let's go, keep going. I'm not going to do it, bro. I'm not. Come on, I'm ready. I'm not doing it. You're just like, look at you, bro. Like, there's nothing like I'd say. Like, you're just so like, you're, you're like, you're, you're fine. Like, you're every girl's like fantasy, bro. Like, there's nothing I can say. The fuck? I, I agree with that. And, and, and bro, you know, like, some right, no weird shit, bro. Like, I'm not, I swear to God, you know, like, I, I've been chill with you, like, it's not. Bro, if I was a girl, you might be like, I don't know. Like, you literally, I don't know. You, like, could do anything you want to me. I, I do, I do hear, I do hear a lot of compliments from girls, and some of them are very unique and interesting. I have, I had a girl say to me last week, I'm the closest thing to God she's ever seen. I've had that. All right, that's dick suck, to be honest. That is. But I was like. I was like, but why? And she goes, I don't know. It's just the way you talk and the way you move and the influence you have over people and the way you articulate yourself and how you're always a professional and you know exactly what to do. And I don't know. You're the closest thing to God I've ever seen. That's what she said. Wow. Which, that is, that is that's crazy. that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's crazy. I hear that a lot. Um, I hear that like I hear the you know normal stuff that a lot of men. Oh no, no, a lot of men don't hear. But you'll you'll be surprised. A lot of girls are complaining. There's no real men left. I hear that all the time. You're the last real guy. You're the last real man. Blah blah blah. I hear that all the time. I had a oh man, I had a really good. I got a message from a girl. Let me see if I can get it up. Let me. I don't think I have it. Let me tell her to send it again. That's talking about one second. If I can find this, it's really good. <laughs> Let me find it. Oh, um, it's yeah, it's her. It's it's because it's talking about infidelity and like <laughs> me being loyal or not. Da, da, da. And she sent me a long message about it, and it was really really good. All right, <laughs> I have a good question. It's a very good question. What would you do? Two questions. What would you do? I'm actually okay. What would you do if you have a child and you have a daughter? I'd love to have a daughter. Why would I not want to have a daughter? Okay. Um, how would you raise your daughter? That is a good question. Because I 
only feel qualified to talk about how to be as successful as possible as a man because I am one and I've lived a life as a man. I think whichever woman I trust to have a daughter with, I would trust her to be in charge of the mindset of the daughter. So I'd say, obviously, I respect you because I chose to have a kid with you, wife or whoever you are. Then I want our daughter to be like you. So what will make her like you? And I, I think the woman would be more in charge of that because she understands how to guide a female mind better than I perhaps would. Okay. Uh, another question. Um, I don't, you don't come up as homophobic, but I'm just curious. Um, if you have a son... Um, and he tells you that he's gay. How would, like, how would you react to that? Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't bother me. I don't think I'd really care. I don't, I will never accept a degenerate member of my family. So I don't want any kind of, it doesn't matter if he's straight. It doesn't matter if he's gay. As long as he's got his head screwed on and he's working hard and he's living a good life and he's doing good things, you know, then that's fine. If they're going to say, no, I take drugs now and I only do this and I run around and I don't care about anything else, that's fine. But I don't think that's anything to do with sexual orientation. As long as they're not degenerate, as long as their head's screwed on and they're a respectable member of society, then I don't really care what they do too much. Right, right, right. Um, damn. I mean, I will want my sons to replicate me, right? That's the point of having sons. The point of having sons is to try and create mini versions of yourself. So is, so that, ego, is that ego then? Like when people say, oh, I want children to create a mini me. Is that ego then? Why else are you having them? That's a good point. Why else do people start families? Yeah. I'm, I mean, my name, is, my name is Emery Andrew Tate the third. My father was Emery Andrew Tate the second. My grandfather was Emery Andrew Tate the first. My son will be Emery Andrew Tate the fourth. Obviously, we're going to want to have some kind of similar thinking to some degree. Right, so if, if you have three sons, you're going to name them all Emery Tate? No. What, what are you going to do? We're going to name one Emery. You're going to name one Tristan. Um, I know you're hoping I say Aiden, but it's not going to happen, bro. I swear to God, I was about to say Aiden. Why? Okay. Would you give one your, Why? Why would you never name your son Aiden? Because he'll just play video games all day and drink soy lattes. No, thank you. Listen, you said it's how you raise them. You can name your son fucking uh, uh, Donald. It doesn't mean they're, you know, they're going to be Donald Trump. You know, you know, just maybe it's just consider it. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it, but uh, I'll I'll have I'll have twenty children anyway, minimum. 20, 20 kids. Yeah, how for are you, sure. How are you gonna manage twenty kids? Easy peasy. Why would that be hard? Are they, is it all gonna be with one girl? Perhaps God has a plan. We'll see. But I'll I'll certainly have twenty children. Okay. Um. There's no doubt about that, and that wouldn't be difficult. With the things I've faced in my life and the trials and tribulations I've been through, it's not going to be difficult. I have to really pee. My bladder's about to explode. If I go to the bathroom real quick um, and pee, can you hold a conversation with my, my viewers? Sure. Just don't promote Hustles University, please. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So Hustles University, 18 modern wealth creation methods. What? A lot Stop. Of people are no. Stop. No. I'll be right back. There's some lies on the internet saying it's a pyramid scheme. Of course, these are the same lies purported by the same people who just don't want to live in the truth of reality. It's an affiliate marketing scheme, very much like Amazon or Spotify or Netflix or whoever else. There's a single level Amazon, there's a single level affiliate program where you can get an affiliate link and people can sign up to hate you. But there's no pyramid because there's no it doesn't go anywhere else. It's not multi-level marketing because there's no layers, right? And affiliating for HU is something we only reserve for people who have already made money in one of the other ways. So when you join, there's 18 modern wealth creation methods. We teach you one of 18 ways to make money. Once you've made money and you can prove it, then we allow you to affiliate for HU and you can make even more money. So you can't just join and just affiliate. So a lot of the information out there about Hustles University is completely and utterly false. And people are confusing my personality with the product because they don't like me they're going to assume the product is terrible oh i don't like tate so hustle university is a scam that's low iq anyone with a brain understands that there's people who you may not personally like or agree with all their views who can still have fantastic products we have over 135,000 students we grow every single day that's 135,000 people who are making more money each month than they invest it's only 49 dollars a month but the price will be going up soon and it's a fantastic product, and it's available at CobraTake.com. The only reason I'm even talking about it is because Aiden told me specifically not to, and I don't listen to him because he's a little gamer dork, so I can talk about whatever I want. He wants to piss, I'll talk about whatever I want in his stream. So, uh, yeah, Hustle Stop. University is to Stop. Pay. No, you're not talking about that. Listen, I just got word. Hassan Abbey, you remember Hassan? He just told me, Aiden, stand up yourself. You're not lazy. Don't let him call you lazy. Hassan Abbey told me I'm not lazy. Fuck you, Andrew. I'm not fucking lazy. Who told you you're not lazy? Hassan Abbey. Hassan Abi. Yes, he told me I'm not lazy. 
Who's Hasanabe? You remember him, the guy that was basically like sitting down like with glasses. He's kind of like a bigger guy, like this. Bigger like fat? No, he wasn't. He's like really buff, actually. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you are lazy, though, so he's wrong. 100%? Oh, 100%, G. You're lazy. All right, Sorry, I, my all right, all right I, have a, I, have, I have to pull a picture of you, and you tell me if this is... Just tell me. I want to know what happened in this picture, okay? I want to be honest. Um, just be honest. I'm pulling up the picture. It'll be 30 seconds. Um, oh, somebody actually asked me this. Ask Andrew if he has any proof of anyone in his university actually making money besides himself. Completely. We have a there's whole proof. section. Yeah, there's endless proof. There's, in fact, CoffeeZilla did a, a video on House University. It was all, it made me that laugh. guy's a Coffee. fucking weirdo, bro. That guy's weird as fuck. Yeah, I mean, it was weird because he goes, he made a video and he goes, I joined and they have, because we have a channel for all the people who make joined. money. Yeah. We have a channel for all the people who make money that day and you post your wins. Yeah. And the, and the guy goes... I joined to get rich, and this guy posted a win that he only made six hundred dollars. That doesn't make someone rich. This is a scam. <laughs> if you pay, but if you pay forty nine dollars and you make six hundred dollars in a day, if you pay forty nine dollars for a month that makes six hundred dollars in a day, that's a pretty good investment, right? What what's that? That's a that's a ten x, eleven x, or twelve x of your money. Not how good. And, Hey, so that guy, yeah, weird. When you join Hustles University, there's a channel and you can see all the wins. We wouldn't be as big as we were if people weren't making money. Right. Anyone with a brain is going to have to accept that it's not a pyramid. It's an affiliate marketing program. And we make a lot of money in there. Hey, I have a question. Look at my stream real quick. Is that you? Be honest. Well, let me make it bigger. Because somebody said this. What? No, that's that's not me. The guy hanging out of the Bugatti over the edge is not me either. <laughs> Uh, there's a few around that people think are me. That's not me. There's no tattoo. You can see the tattoo. Oh, on the you're right. No, I'm glad you're right. I'm glad you're right. I'm glad you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Look, it's a tattoo. So all, all of these fake pictures you can see, there's no tattoo. Like the fake guy hanging from the Bugatti is not me. There's loads of fake ones going around. <laughs> uh, do you ever miss like a normal life? Do you miss being normal? Do you miss not being famous? Do you miss that life before fame? Um, good question. Not really. I, I don't, I mean, like, it's, it's fine for me. I, taking photos can get very tedious because I am ridiculously loved. Like, on the internet, people pretend people hate me, but when on the street, everybody adores me. I've never had a negative interaction in person. I get maybe three or 4,000 people per day if I walk the street coming up to me just singing praises. It's amazing how everyone adores me. Top Geo, you're a hero, you're the best. You're so, like, it's crazy. Are you, so, are you, like, are you like, looked at as, like, a god in Romania? No, not no. Romania is where I get the least attention because everyone's used to seeing me around here. Right. So I don't. I don't. I can go out in Romania just by myself. Where do you right? get the most but, love? Like, where do you get the most love? Anywhere. I mean, those 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 crowd those screaming, chanting crowds were Croatia, Slovenia, Bosnia, Kosovo, Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Czech Republic, England, Germany, France. Every Dubai, everywhere I go, the people are just screaming, oh, please take a picture. Can I take a picture of my kid? Oh, please, please, please. Everyone absolutely adores me when they see me. Uh, I'm super loved. So it's it's quite positive. I mean, sometimes taking endless pictures gets a bit annoying. It is what it is. But um, I've enacted a new policy now. If they're not wearing some Top G merch, I don't take pictures anymore because it just takes too long. It takes my whole day. <laughs> what the fuck? But, yeah, it takes all what? day because... Well, no, because one person wants one picture, right? And that's fine. And then other people notice who I am. And now there's a line of 10 people and they're all trying to take pictures and I need to get back in my car. I got something to do. And it just, it's fine, but it takes, it, it can easily take up two or three hours extra of my day every single day. Wait, so, so they have that merch on? Top, top G dot com. That Check really it out. ass merch? Where's my mug? I don't know. Where is your mug? Did you buy it? Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? I got to ship to LA. You're, I got to go get it. All right, fine. I'll get it. But whatever. Can you, no, I, there, you should. You should. No, but you really. Should, you should have sent me a pair. No, miss. And go get the mug, Andrew. You really, really should have sent me a whole care package. Why? Because I wanted a whole care package. Why buy it? You're rich. Hey, I'm you, poor. Hey, when are we? When are we doing uh, some shit in Miami? You told me you would come in September. Stop lying to people. You told me you come in September. You said I'll book it. What the fuck's the word? You know what? I just. I just have a really, really, let me explain something to you, Aiden, right? Yes. I'm, I'm a, I'm a particular man. Okay. I like things done in a particular way. I know. So I have a very, very good life at home. I live in a big mansion and I have armed guards all around it. Okay. And I have all, my, and I have all my cars in a row and they're clean and I have a pool 
with many beautiful female guests, and I have a jacuzzi, and I have a water slide, and I have all these amazing things, right? You have and a water slide up, in your pool? Of course I do. Holy when shit. I wake up, listen, listen, when I wake up at 9 a.m., and I walk outside, 9.02, my coffee is piping hot, because she poured that coffee at 9.01, because she knows at 9.02 I walk out the door, and the coffee is there. Do you understand? <laughs> and yes. It's all done very sequentially. When I finish in the gym at like 10.52, I go sit on the computer for X amount of time. Everything's very organized, and I feel happy with an organized life. When I go places, it's just not as organized. And I do travel the world a lot. All I do is travel. Anyone who follows me or knows me well knows I'm traveling all the time. But when I do travel, I try and – like I'm, I've got – next week I'm going to my yacht. I have a yacht, by the way. I'm going to my yacht, and I'm going to disappear in Croatia for like two weeks on my – multi-million dollar mega yacht. you invited me to that by the way and i had a decline you should have come bro i have i have like 12 bedrooms well you know so, i don't want to go somewhere that I, i'm not this in croatia i don't want to go somewhere and then i don't know where i'm going and i just get fucking kidnapped and fucking who god knows what you know I, I wouldn't kidnap you i might throw you overboard or something but you can swim right yeah not with sharks though yeah well fuck it you look tasty so that's your problem well but, I'm tasty? Um, you, you think i look tasty yeah, it looks like a little fat little thing, little little fat blob, just like, you know, pork scratching. You know what they are? It's an English thing. It's like a little, it's like pork fat and you fry it. Don't worry about it. Like a muffin. Wow. Anyway, um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go, like if I leave my house, I want to go to my yacht or I want to go to, there's very exclusive hotels where only mega, mega rich billionaires go, which I'm not going to even say the names of on here. I, when I, when I leave my house, I try and, va- I try and vanish. I don't really want to go walking around Miami with all the hamburgers and hoes and thoughts and YouTubers and all that dork shit. I'm above all that. I'm, I'm on the internet. As a hobby, like, right? I don't need any of this. I'm, I'm extremely wealthy. I'm above all that crap. Bro, you so, just come kick it with me, bro. We, we, we're, 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 are you my boy? I'm your mentor. <laughs> okay, fair. So you're a part of my life, right? So if you're a part Correct. of my life, you're a big part of my life, why are you not linking me? Link, why am I not coming to see you? Yes, linking me. Why are you not coming to see me? You come see me the first time, and then I'll come see you after that. Here we go. Here we go. What? Not, Europe, Europe's the spot in the summer. Like uh, I, America, America and Europe have this disconnect. But in the summer, Europe's the spot to be. Fuck America. Like, I, um, Europe, Europe, Europe's off the chain. So much, so much better here. It's classier. It's just the people are better. People dress nicer. The food's better. The vibe is better. It's like old world and like castles, and it's just gorgeous. It's, it's amazing over here. Why would I want to go stand around Miami with, with and do what? Go to the club. Boring. Hmm. Very nothing to do in Miami. What am I going to do in Miami? Sit in your penthouse, make fun of you on the stream, go to the club every once in a while. That's it. <laughs> That's- Maybe get a boat and get some hoes on it. That's it. What about your girlfriend? You can bring her and have a little vacation. Let me, let me read to you uh, this message because it's here. One second. Let me just check on this. Okay. Big Daddy T-A-T right. to the E. Big daddy, T-A-T to the E. She's saying the nice things girls say to me. This is not the girl who said I was God. This is a different girl. So this was after I streamed. I don't know if it was a Twitch or a YouTube or one of my podcasts where I talked about having more than one girlfriend. And obviously she watched it. So she was a bit upset about me having more than one girlfriend. But it's kind of amazing, like, and this is what I'm trying to teach the men at home, that if you're truly, truly a man of excellence, if you're not some bitter internet hater or some dork or some loser, if you're actually a man who's been brave and can stand up in the face of gunfire and do the right thing and you're admirable, when women truly respect you, the world's different. So let me read it out. My love, I want you to know that I see the truth of your destiny. You were never put on this earth to follow the ideals of lesser men. You are the greatest man I have ever known, and the world is more blessed to have you in it. The fact you exist means there's still hope for us. You're the last real-life hero we have on Earth, the top G. Without strong men like you, women will have no real protectors, and a man such as yourself should not adhere to the basic constraints of society. You need to stay strong, to radiate freedom and knowledge for all of us. Don't let anyone try and cage you. You are entitled to live out your fantasies because the world is yours. That's the beginning. Heroes have always been rewarded with riches and women since the dawn of time. I want my man to be adorned as God wills it. You should enjoy the spoils of war, my love, and one day our sons will too. I would not dare to go against the will of God and even attempt to control you. This would be an insult to you, the cause, and the, and the almighty God himself. 
I'm grateful for you and would never disrespect God's chosen protector for us all. I'm a tool God has gifted you to support you, to help you, not to hinder you, but to adore you as he adores you. You have sacrificed and you have bled. I've witnessed it. You have impacted the world so greatly already, my love, achieved so much good, and I'm enormously proud of you. Other men are pathetic and pale in comparison. They have to stay faithful because they have no other options or bravery to take what God wishes to give them. Unhappy women in society beat them down to submission, loneliness, and despair and ultimately take their free will away because they are not brave like you. You are already loyal to me because you are loyal to the cause. Freedom of humanity, expression of self. I don't care what girls you are with. Just come home to me. You deserve everything you desire. Do not let our enemies prevail. What the fuck, bro? And she's hot. And she has a way with words. So that, yeah. So like, it's amazing the the reality that you can create when you're truly about it. This is what I try and explain to men. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one second. I have a question. I've been wanting to ask you this question actually for a very long time. It just came to my mind because I knew I forgot it. Name one thing that's, name one thing that you don't have. Like name one thing, one trait about yourself that's a con, if that makes sense. Like you, name one thing that's like a, um, a toxic trait. Like name something bad about yourself. Can you name one thing that's bad about yourself? One thing that's bad about you, Andrew Tate. One thing. None. You have no fucking hair. How about that? You can't say one bad thing. One bad thing. You're literally fucking bald. You're bald. Say something, something, anything bad. Okay, well, first things first. I'm bald by choice. I shave my head twice a week. I could have as much hair as you, as I used to have in my older pictures. I can grow my hair back for you if you want, Aiden. If you send me 100 grand in ETH, I will grow my hair back for you. <laughs> so, I mean, Bro. so I'm not, I'm not bald. I all just right. cut my hair. Fine. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that, no, all of my bad habits or bad qualities have been created out in, by, by purposeful will. I don't, I don't allow myself to do things I know I shouldn't be doing. I'm, I'm a hero. I'm a superhero. Did you not hear what she said? I'm the last superhero of Earth. Okay. Is, how is that not true? Aiden, listen, you're trapped in a room. You're trapped. You can't call law enforcement, but you can only call one man. And that man has to come and try and save you. Who do you call? You're trapped, right? You're trapped, and they give you, a, you, there's a phone, and you get one call to call one guy. Can't call the police, that's a police force, but you get one individual man. Do you call your, your dad, your friend, that guy you know from school, or do you call the top G? Who do you call? Tell the truth. You. Yeah, of course you call me, bro. You want to get out. I'm your last hope. It's Top G, please, Top G, come, please. Uh, and you know that if I turned up, I'd get you out as well. That's why, because I'm ultimately and utterly completely competent. So of course you would choose me. Of course you would choose me, bro. So how am I not a superhero? I'm the last superhero of Earth. And it's, it's, it's amazing, like, you think as the last superhero of Earth, I don't have completely gorgeous, doting females who adore me? Where are they going to go besides me? With who? You? Okay. No. Okay. So no, we're all, no. hold on, I'm not twisting words. You said you believe in God, right? Correct. Okay. So God himself says no man is perfect. Okay. So if you're saying you're, you're perfect, are you admitting to be God? I'm all, no, God said we're built in his image. But let me tell you a secret about God. Let me tell you about God, because you're probably a little atheist anyway, a little video game player. Let me tell you about God. No, I'm not. That's no, I do. Yeah. No, I believe in a higher power, but go ahead. I'm not a little fucking atheist because I'm a video game player. What, the, what kind of shit is that? Go ahead. You're just sitting, sitting there like a muffin, a little atheist muffin. Listen up. Bro. God, God rewards the men who make the best of themselves. God hates the lazy. God wants to see his creations be their absolute peak possible form. When God creates a man, if you truly try the very, very best you could possibly try, you'll be rewarded and be infinitesimally lucky. You'll be very, very lucky all of the time because God loves people who work hard. God loves me. I'm one of God's favorites. I'm not God, but I'm certainly one of his favorite ones. <laughs> what the fuck? God doesn't and have they, favorites. God uh, loves all of his children. What are you talking he, about? He loves all of you. He loves all of us. But he does have favorites because his favorites are the ones that worked harder than the others and were braver than the others and went through the trials and tribulations to show the true power of masculinity. Of course, if you let me ask you a question. Yeah. Aiden. Go ahead, bro. 
If you planted three seeds and one plant grew, one plant kind of half grew and one plant did nothing, but one plant grew into a beautiful flower, which is going to be your favorite seed? The one that grew. Correct. I am one of God's favorites. I'm the most famous man on the internet. I'm also a four times kickboxing world champion. I'm also extremely smart and sexy and funny and interesting. I have everything that every man has ever wanted. Except hair. I am. Okay. I am. Real quick. Favorite. Real quick. Okay. You, you are the seed in the middle. Okay. I'll take you that. Could have, you could have been something great, but you're just like a little flimsy, little flimsy, little thing sitting there. And just thinking that because I shave my head and don't grow my hair, somehow you being a little muffin. Bro, stop calling me a fucking, bro. They're already calling me that, bro. Chill. That's not, no, we're not doing that. I'm not a fucking muffin, bro. I'm a grown You're ass muffin. man. God is disappointed in you. What the you, fuck? Listen. You need to fix. Listen, bro. I still have a lot to prove, okay? I still have a lot to prove. I'm not muffin. People call me muffin boy. Eat a dick. Listen, bro. I'm going to just tell you straight up, bro. Um, all right. If you... Fuck, I had a question for you, dude. What were you talking about? Oh, you said about I have everything a man wants. I have uh, God. Yes, God loves me. Okay, hold on. You said about God. I'm God's favorite. Okay. Uh... Fuck, I forgot I was going to ask you. That's a shame. I'm sure it was very interesting. It actually really was. Um, Come on then. Come on then, Mr. Smarty Pants. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. You said, no, you said you're a four-time kickboxing champion. Are you going to step in the ring with Jake or Logan Paul? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to fight Jake or Logan Paul? Sorry, I was reading my phone. Am I going to fight Jake or Logan Paul? Yes. Um, we can talk about Jake and Logan Paul. So I made a video calling out Jake Paul three years ago when he first called out Conor McGregor. I don't know if you remember that. It was a long time ago. And then, uh, cause I thought he was being disrespectful to fighters. And now he's taking his boxing career more seriously, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Cetera. Jake is actually killing it in boxing, believe it or not. No, I'm, I'm sure he trains very, very hard. He's taking it seriously. Yeah. Um, I've, I've had conversations with the right people and there's, uh, conversations which are ongoing and there's many possibilities. I have nothing against the brothers. I know they've they've made some videos insulting me. I'm kind of surprised by how deep in the matrix they are. I thought they'd be a little bit more. Um, their views would be a little bit more truth, you know, true to what they actually think. But I understand they're very, very scared of being canceled, and I think they're still owned. So when they're on on camera, they have to say. I'm gonna to... I'm gonna step in right there because I've seen Jake Paul do a lot of edgy shit. That's that's Jake, you know. Logan Logan has done stuff too. Um, so, I don't know. They, they've, they've been... And in the video, the, the response video they made to me, they, they certainly towed the line of, of the Matrix agenda. So they, they were very, very afraid to, to say anything outside of it. But that's fine. I was, that's the only thing that surprised me about the video. I thought they'd be a bit more free-thinking. I'm sure in private they are. But, you know, I think they're still owned to a degree, and that's fine. Um, I have nothing against either of them. The time will come we meet, and uh, God has a plan. We'll see what happens. Okay, so if you were to pick which Paul brother to fight, who would it be? Makes absolutely zero difference to me. If you give me, if someone gives me an opponent to destroy as a professional, I will destroy that opponent. That so no matter, guess. so you fight Logan or Jake, it doesn't matter. You're going to beat them, is what you're saying. Don't, of course, it doesn't matter who. It's not even about Logan or Jake. It's about any human on the planet. If I am contractually obliged to destroy a human being, so you can, I, you could be, you could beat Javante Davis Tank. No, I'm not saying. Listen, firstly, he's he's very small, and and I also really like him. He's a good guy. <laughs> Uh, so no, he's a G. He's he's about it. He's a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You're you're misunderstanding me. I'm saying that you asked me who would I rather fight. Yes, I did I'm, ask that. I did ask that. And I'm all right. So, and now you're saying that me beating Tank. It's not about beating. It's about who would I rather fight. And I'm telling you, if I'm contractually obliged to attempt to destroy him, combat. Man, you know, it doesn't matter who you fight. As a gotcha. professional, I will I will complete the contract. I will destroy said individual. That is my job, and I will do it to the best of my ability. And and un, and unfortunately for my opponent, the best of my ability is is extremely formidable. It's extremely formidable. Do you know who KSI is? I do know who KSI is. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you ever fight KSI? Sin. Why? I, like I said, these people are not my family. They're not my family members. If someone were to come along with the right number of money. And oh, say shit. 50 minutes, you know, whatever. Do you think I'm going to sit and go, no, I can't fight him. Why, why would I not fight KSI? Like, why would I not? I don't right. care. Well, why would I not punch him in the face for money? Yeah. It's a genuine question. No. I don't watch it. I don't watch his videos. I'm not a fan of him. I don't really know what he says. I don't, I don't know. I know who he is, but I have nothing. I have nothing that's going to prevent me from fighting that man. 
I, I'll fight anybody. I've, I've fought my whole life. Outside of about three or four men on the planet who I really respect and I consider family, you know, when the who, payday's there. Who, who are your people that you respect and that you consider family? I have a, a very close network of individuals who I, I hang around with, who I love very, very much, and uh, we work together. That's different. There's no amount of money that would make me turn on a brother. But if there's some guy I don't know and people are going to offer me money. Where do you rank? Am I in your list of friends? No, you're not. I would fight you for money. What the fuck? You actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Really, bro? I get what you're doing now, bro. Is it because I no, got stabbed before? Is that what you're doing? I'm cutting a cigar. You weren't even stabbed. You stabbed with a pen. No, I was stabbed with a fucking knife, okay? It but, wasn't this, no, was it? Okay, duh. It was a fucking steak knife. Listen. We're full of it. Okay, listen, though. So, first of all, you would never hit me. Come on, stop. You would never fight me. If, if, if I was offered a contract to box you, I would, and the money was right, then I would fight you. I mean, what, what if I only thing- do it? What if someone was like, all right, I'm going to give you 50 mil to beat the shit out of Aiden Ross and film it and put on? You would do it. No, that's a felony, and that's assault. That's Thank different. You. Okay. All right. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about con- contractual obligation to destroy an individual. It doesn't matter if it's Logan Paul, Jake Paul, you, KSI. Give a shit. If, if you're going to pay me money to fight somebody, and I agree to that said sum, I will turn up on the time and the date, and I will destroy that individual. I very, very rarely fail. I have had 86 or, uh, professional kickboxing matches with a very, very formidable record, 78 wins. I've been in there enough times to know what it takes to win. I'm an extremely dangerous individual. Everybody with a brain knows that. Right. It doesn't matter if it's boxing, kickboxing, etc. I know what it takes to win. I know what it takes to train for a fight. And I'm not the kind of person anybody wants to ever end up in the ring with. My unmatched perspicacity coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. It doesn't matter if it's conquering the internet or fighting in the ring. I'm good at things. That's who I am because I am God's favorite, Aiden. Okay. Do you understand? I do understand. You, God's favorite. I do understand what you're saying. Um... If there's one thing you could do to change the entire world right now, what would it be? That's a good question. I don't know if I'd want to change the entire world. The world is a... uh, It's already a pretty interesting place. I mean, I could come out with some boring... You know, They're boring, but they're true. I mean, no one should be starving to death. I'd like to end war, blah, blah, blah. But but all of these things have, have repercussions. You, you can't fix world hunger without messing up a whole bunch of other stuff. And same thing with ending war and a bunch of other stuff. So I don't know. That's a very interesting question. I'd have to think about it. I can't answer it professionally right now. I don't know. I got you off guard there with that one, huh, Top G? Well, I mean, I can give you a bunch of answers, but I'm just trying to be... No, I know. Uh, but you, you just... It's, 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 a, it's a hard question to answer because there's so much you can say, throw in there, but you want to... I know what you're saying. You just don't, yeah, I get you. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to, there's a million things I could change, but all in all, I think the world's a beautiful place. I think life's wonderful. Bad things happen, but that's, that's what gives life meaning. You can't have joy without little pain. What's your favorite sex position? Oh, here we go. Why do you always get weird? What? I'm, I'm asking what's your favorite, someone asked that. I wanted to ask what you would say. I don't think it's appropriate. Listen, as a man who's been chopped up on the internet and taken everything he said out yeah. of context. Maybe you shouldn't answer that right now. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be sitting in front of that. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, so what is your opinion on war? Like World War One, World War Two, World War Three, World War Four, like all that stuff. What was your opinion on those wars and like what do you like what do you think about that? I love World War II. I'm a World War II history buff. I visit all the sites and I've been to Auschwitz and I've been to the trenches of World War I and I do that a lot in Europe. I'm sure you know nothing about any of these wars because... To be honest, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, you're too busy playing video games. Yeah, I know. No, it's not that. It's just... I'm Jewish and um, I believe which Holocaust... Wait, when the Holocaust was going on, which war was it? I know about that war. Was that... World War II. Oh, it was two. Okay, so I know about that one a lot. Um, but I don't know. I just try to think about that shit. It's just so sad, you know? It is sad, but don't you think it shows respect to the people who died to at least know the history? Of course, and I think and I think that's what we must do: carry their name, you know, keep carrying their names on and teaching it to our kids, 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 kids. And oh, all right, cool. So, who was the leader of Russia during World War II? I'm gonna take a strong guess: Putin's dad, maybe his grandfather. Completely wrong. Who was the leader of Germany during World War II? Hitler. Correct. Who was the leader of England during World War II? Queen Elizabeth. Wrong. Who was leader of France during World War II? Oh, fuck. Uh, pass. Pro. Oh, Churchill. Winston Churchill. 
That's that's England. Okay, I see. I was close. You don't know anything, bro. <laughs> bro, no, no, you know, like, bro, you're catching on guard. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. How can you not know about World War II? All these people died for your freedom, and you just oh, sit don't there for do that now. Oh, come on, man. They died in a, they died in a ditch. I know. And, you just, and you're just sitting here going, oh, I don't care about them dying no, in a ditch. I don't care about that. Listen. You just want to sit there being a fat muffin and just doing nothing. You're twisting my fucking words like they're doing to you right now, and that's why you got fucking banned. Go get your get back. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like... <laughs> no, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty funny. Oh. Um, Ball- Bald and banned. Bald and banned, huh? Make a shirt. I want 80% profits on that. All right. Bald and banned merch is coming to topg.com. Everyone, go to topg.com. Actually, I want to say something while we're while I'm on the stream. With topg.com, oh, we're gonna gosh. launch, we're gonna launch a free NFT with every oh, single here product. We go. Oh, oh really? Yes, we are. Because people were saying oh. they want to buy all the t-shirts and keep them forever, but the t-shirt won't last forever, but the NFT will. So even if you buy now. You're going to be retrospectively allocated an NFT. So anyone who gets top G merch will get an NFT. And then the next bull run, we're going to make a trillion dollars. All right, dollars. so I'm not accountable for when the NFT goes to fucking zero. Uh, guys, I'm... Bro, listen, let me tell you something. You're talking about going to zero. Let me explain something. I have been the subject of the largest media spin attempt hit piece in history. And Hustlers University has grown every single day. None of my stuff goes to zero. Like if, 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 if hate you and me with the amount of negative press we've had and still people join and realize there's good quality in there and good value and stay, our numbers still go up every single day. Nothing associated with me ever goes to zero. So, uh, so all right, that's fair. That's fair. Let me ask. Have you noticed? And, okay. That's a good question. I want to ask. Have you know, I'm going to cut you off. Finish what you're going to say. Go ahead. And, and the NFT is completely free. So how can it go to zero if you buy a t-shirt and get a free NFT? The NFTs are free with the merch. <laughs> All right, fine. Okay, I get what you're saying. Fine, you just get it included. Fine, you buy the merch. Okay, cool. Have you noticed any decline yet in your career? Any what? Decline. In, in, my, in my career in which way? What do you mean career? So far, since you've been doing this shit, have you noticed any sign of decline, whether it's in numbers or whether it's... you notice any decline? The only number I actively monitor is uh because i'm all of this i'm doing the only number i would actively monitor was are the internals right the war room hustle university that kind of thing everything's massively massively up um i've i've had endless requests for for podcasts the biggest podcast in the world i've still Which got ones? 20 pod- um i don't I, you'll know when i'm on there i've got 20 the 20 i've got at least 20 massive podcasts i need to do i'm not gonna um, lie you should do um what's his name jeff rogan he would be a killer one i swear to god bro you and bro you and him would kill it yeah. Yeah. So I'm talking to everybody on the planet, including him. So like I'm, I'm going to, I've got a whole bunch of podcast stuff I can do. So I don't, I don't know what other metrics to measure. Um, it, that doesn't matter to me. You know why I, I have my internal measurements and they're measured and I get a report every day and I look at them and we're still doing very, very well. We're still doing fantastically well and we're changing lives and everyone who's on my team is making money and that's all that matters. What's your opinion on Dana White? It's a good question. I've never met the guy. Uh, he's obviously a very, very intelligent businessman. Why do you ask about Dana White? <laughs> Bro, the way he talks sometimes is funny as fuck. The reason why I ask about Dana White is a lot of controversy about him. Like, um, I feel like he's a businessman, like you said. Like he's just doing his. He, you can't hate. You can't hate. Like he, like he's literally. That's he. He's a businessman. Like you gotta respect people when they when they're printing when they're hustling. Right? I don't know. I, I feel like people just like to critique him a lot, and I just want to know what you gotta what you gotta say about um, him. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about Dana White. Nothing. Why would I have anything bad to say about Dana White? No, I never said that. I said, what is your opinion on him? I never said that you would have anything bad. I said, what is your opinion on him? What do you think about him? It doesn't mean that. It doesn't have to be hate, okay? It doesn't have to be fucking hate. Okay, relax. Get that out of your head. It's not, everything, not everything's hate. When you talk to me, I don't want you to think that it's fucking hate, bro. I love you. Get off your phone and pay attention. Oh, sorry. I heard that you love me. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but, shit, that's, 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 that's how it is. One second now. Right. So, um, yeah, I got stuff to do, bro. So, uh, do, no, no, I don't want to go. Oh, wait for what? Hurry up, Aiden. Oh, you hear me? Bro, no, you, yeah. no, you don't. No, you don't. What are you going to go do right now? I got stuff to do. I don't live on the internet like you, bro. I live in the real world. I got shit to do in the real world. I don't live on the internet. I'm not one of these internet guys. I do real shit. 
I'm not like like you know a Twitch streamer or YouTuber that I'm just some dude who conquered the internet. I just beat you all at your own game in like two months, and now I'm just gonna go back to the real world. I'm just done, mm -hmm. easy. You're all lazy. You're all lazy and dumb. Stop. No, you're a muffin. You need to change it. Well, how many times have you been gym this week? Fucking zero. Do you not feel shame, Aiden? I do. But nice chatting to you. Stop! Young man. Don't go, bro. Only if you sing, please don't go. And you please don't go. That was terrible. Fuck you. That's why your Instagram got banned. And you're never getting it back. And you're always going to be bald. No matter what you do. I know you're going to see this. You're going to always be bald. And have a banned Instagram. The number one most viewed app in the world. You're banned on it. Get your get back. Take a private jet. Take a yacht. Go to the Instagram headquarters. Demand it. And they're going to shut you down. But I thought you were God. I thought God can't get shut down. That's a shame, Mr. T. It's a shame. Y'all not going to start calling me muffin this shit. Y'all not going to start calling me muffin this shit. We're not doing that. We're not doing that, bro. We are not doing that. Y'all not going to call me a fucking muffin. 